Hey, diecast fans and collectors. Uh, I know this is a different um, camera than what we normally use. For some reason, my phone's been on the charger for like the last couple days because I was going to make a video, then I forgot about it because my wife's been real sick and I've been worried about her. Um, and I remember I told you guys uh, when these arrived in the mail, I was going to do a video on them. Um... And they've been here for a while now, so uh, I need to get that video out. So uh, my wife's starting to feel a little bit better, so uh, I can get this video out now. Um, but before I do, uh, I know you guys enjoy seeing my customs and stuff. So um, here's some recent ones I've finished. Um, I did this uh, tuned Camaro. In blue a new blue I got which I really like um, and I made an orange one as well but the orange one is a convertible so yeah those two are new right there those two are new Get those boys out of here uh, and then recently, I've started trying to make red lines because, uh, like I, I said in the previous video, I'm really liking the um, uh, the uh, classic series Hot Wheels, and uh, I want to collect them all this year. I'm actually going to go down to a store today that has quite a bit of them and see if I can't strike a deal with them on all of them. So uh, we'll see how that goes. Um, but uh, yeah. Um, I've been making my own red line vehicles and I've been having a blast and they, they look amazing. I love this truck. This is an awesome truck. I don't even know if they made this one in the classic series. I don't think, no, I think they did. I think it's more of an expensive one though. I made this Bel Air, which I'm, I'm not too fond of actually. I don't care for this one too much. I also noticed that the thing on the side kind of is where I don't know how that happened. Let's got some extra paint in there. I'll fix it later. Uh, and then I made this truck, and I really like this truck. This truck is probably my favorite one I've made is this truck. This is a really cool looking truck. I like this truck. This actually kind of looks like one of them, honestly. But yeah, it's a really neat looking truck. I don't know why it won't stay together. Should have glued it or something. It's probably because it has larger tires than it should. And then uh, yesterday I made this, and this is a uh, a take on the Hot Wheels Redline Custom Camaro, because they do still make that casting. Um, this is a color of it I would love to have in my collection. Just, I would, I'd absolutely love to have this car in my collection, actually, like the real one, but I will never, ever pay what people are asking for these things. I mean, it's, I guess it's not really outrageous if you think about how old the car is, but, um, and how rare they are. Well, I guess they're not necessarily too rare because there are a lot of them on the internet. It's just, I guess people paying a lot for them and that's what makes them worth a lot is because rich people go and buy cars that the rest of us can't afford, then ruin it for everybody and then nobody can get them. But, um, anyways... Uh, this is a car I really would love to have in my collection, and um, I'll never have it because it's just overly expensive for me. I will not pay that. I just recently got comfortable paying 50 for one car, and I can't go over that. The guy I bought these uh, Neo Classics from told me he has a red variant of this Camaro, and he listed it, and it's $100, and I was like, yeah, I'm not paying that for that car. I was interested. It was going to be... 50, I would have bought it, but I'm not paying 100 for that thing. I'm sure I'll find it someday for 50. Uh, someone will have it and not know what they have, and I'll get it. <laughs> but uh, anyways, um, yeah, I made this guy, and uh, I'm working on making a blue one. And the blue one's not really actually based off of a real one. Uh, I'm just going to make a blue red line one myself because uh, I really think it'd be cool to have a red line one of these that's blue with a white stripe. I think it'd be really cool. So I have a lot of these black walls because they come on the McDonald's cars and stuff. And one of these red one looks way better than the other one. I kind of like the like 
darker ones though. They look better. I don't know why that one's so bright. I don't know why that's like that. The other ones aren't like that. For some reason that one is. That's weird. That looks more like the actual red line right there. That one just is too bright. I don't know how I can fix that, but <laughs> for now I guess it's just got to stay that way. But um Yeah, I I made this guy. So those are new ones I've made. I know you guys kind of like seeing my customs, so I'll show them to you every now and then. Show a little batch of them here and there. I think I already showed you guys the truck and the uh, Bel Air, I think. But the Camaros and the, the Camaros, yeah, they're all Camaros. Those are all new. Uh, so, yeah, uh, let me show you what came in the mail, I think, like a week and a half ago. So, uh, let's check those out. Okay. All right, guys, so uh, let me show you the uh, Hot Wheels Classic Series car I got first, and then we'll do the Neo Classics last. Uh, so I got this Camaro, and I could not find another one like it on the internet. So um, I also looked up on the uh, wiki, which I hate wiki. It never loads on my phone and never wants to work. But um, I saw on wiki there's a five-spoke variant of this guy. I don't know if I'm going to get the five-spoke variants. I haven't really seen too many of them on the internet. I've seen more of the uh, the nine-spoke ones or seven, yeah, seven spokes versions and I kind of like the seven spoke ones better because you know there's a lot of Hot Wheels Camaros that they make already that have five spokes and it's not like too special of a thing but there's not too many they've made that have seven spokes I think the only seven spokes one they've made is there's one you can get in a Kellogg's five pack and then these ones I think they might be the only seven spoke ones of their kind uh, but yeah these ones are really cool there are five different colors of this car there is antifreeze I believe green i think gold and uh red is that all of them because there's only five and i antifreeze green gold and red yeah I, I listed them all for you guys right there because the blue one's the fifth one i also thought there was a black one though maybe there's six different colors i don't know but um yeah these things are very interesting because uh, on the package it will tell you 14 of 25 or something, but that's just the number of the model. The model actually comes in many different colors, and these things are going to be very hard for me to collect them all. But like I said, there is a store down the street from me that has probably about, I'd say, 50 or so of them that they've had for a while. And they've been sitting in their store for the last couple of years, and no one's bought them. So I bet if I go down there and make them a deal... Like, hey, I'll buy all of them for a certain amount. I bet they'll probably sell them to me. And I think a couple of them I might already have, but that's that's fine because we can use them for customs. Um, but uh, the most of them I don't have, so it would definitely be worth picking them up. And if I do pick them up, you guys will know about it because we'll do a video on them. I'll probably get out all of my, uh, my uh, cool classics or um, Hot Wheels Classic Series cars, I'll probably get all of them out and we can take a look at all of them together because I've found some here and there and lots I've bought and stuff like I have a Pontiac Bonneville. Um, I have a heavy Chevy, like I think I showed you guys that one in the other video. I have a silver one and now I have the antifreeze one. Um, I also have the, I think there's one truck I have. I think I have one of the trucks. I can't recall which one it is at the moment, but I do have one of the trucks. I have a Mustang, which is one I got down at that store because I just thought it looked cool because it had lettering on the tires and red lines. So I thought it was cool and I seen that one, so I picked that one up. Um, but yeah, I think there's a couple more Mustangs down there too. I think there's a brown one down there and there's a red one down there, and I'll have to get those because uh, those are um, colors I don't have, and I want to get all of them, so... Sorry, buddy. I know you like Mustangs, but uh, I need those for my collection because they're part of the the classic series cars. But uh, yeah, um, the Camaros, I, these actually aren't too bad on eBay. I've seen them for like 10 to like the most I've seen them. Like there's some that are like 50 or or $100 for the casting, like the Texas uh, Hold'em truck or whatever that truck's called. I don't remember what the heck that truck's called, but I, I just told myself, you know, forget that one. I don't need that one unless I come across it. Like locally someone's selling their collection and they've kind of like 
been selling it for a while and they're getting kind of upset because no one's paying what they want. Because after a while, if people try to sell their whole collection and they sit on it for a while, I'll do that. I'll look for people who are trying to sell their whole collection and locally near me. And if they sit on it for a long time and don't get rid of it, I'm like, hey, I see you've been sitting on it for a while. You're not getting rid of all of it. How about I come over and I buy some cars individually? And then I come over there and they're just tired of dealing with people. So they basically let the stuff go for nothing, which, you know, that, that I, I know some people frown on that upon the community, but what I do is I try to get cars for as cheap as I can possibly get them. But Neo Classics and uh, RLC cars aren't too easy to do that with. Other cars can be easy to do that with, but uh, I'm just trying not to pay what people think it's worth. I'm trying to pay what I think it's worth, and that's that's my thing that I do. But uh, yeah, that's enough of that one. Let's get that one out of here. Um, so uh, let's show you guys the cars I bought on eBay for quite a lot of money. But uh, they are Redline Club cars, and they look like Redlines. So um, rather than paying uh, like 100 bucks for one car or like 400 bucks, and sometimes the Redline cars are like – that. that's the thing that kind of makes me upset about them too is like I know I've made a video in the past saying I understand why Redlines are so much money, and I do – but like the more I look at ones that are completely like damaged and missing paint and wheels and stuff, I really don't get why those ones are still a hundred bucks. And then you go and look at one that's in mint condition and it's like, it's like a couple hundred more, but it's like, I, I just don't understand it. Like, I don't understand how a car that's missing wheels and parts and stuff is still worth like a hundred bucks. It, it just doesn't make sense to me. But, um, yeah, this is a this is actually based upon a real red line casting, the uh, sugar caddy, and uh, this thing looks amazing in pink. Like, there's no other color I'd really want this in, other than maybe beige or gold, um, or white. And those are like the three colors, other colors I'd like to have this in. And you know what? If I ever do come across um, <clears throat> a good deal, like in somebody's collection, and they have some of these. I might actually try to get some doubles of this car, and I know people frown up on it, but uh, I might customize one to be, like, cream-colored or something. But, uh, yeah, anyways, uh, let's get this guy out of the package because you guys know how we are here. We don't care what a car is worth. We will open it. So they're hard to get out, so let me, let me get it out manually. <laughs> Okay, so uh, here's the sugar caddy. This thing's pretty cool. It's got like a bubble top. It looks more like a futuristic Cadillac than a, um, an older one. It looks even futuristic for today, which is really cool. And look at that paint. Like, I believe that's Spectre Flame paint. The hood does open. I, I don't really know why, considering the motor is pretty much seeable entirely with it being closed, but I guess that's cool. I mean, I shouldn't complain. I paid a lot of money for this car. It's cool. It does that. <laughs> but, um, yeah, this thing's pretty cool. One thing I don't like about this casting, and I bet that's probably, like, on the original one, too, is there's not too much detail on the front. Like, it, I mean, because of the shape, you can tell it's a Cadillac, but I wish there was, like carving of like the grill and like the bumper and stuff like 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 how on the camaro they would do the grills and you could like see like what part was separate and stuff because i know back then you, you know they might not have the technology to do something like it, but they could do this with the camaro I'm, I'm sure they could have done that with this like giving it some kind of texture so it didn't look so flat it just looks too flat to me but uh it's still a really cool car I definitely probably wouldn't buy an original one now because just the, the front of it just doesn't like, like worth the price for me. Like, like if this car is like a hundred, two hundred dollars for this car, even with it being damaged or something, that, that front end just turns me off the car immediately. But I'm uh, glad I have one now so I know what one looks like. But yeah, that's a really cool casting. It'd be nice if Hot Wheels would actually like redo this casting in modern day and like give it like the details in the casting on the front and stuff that'd be pretty cool but i don't think they'll ever do that that'd be cool because i've noticed they are bringing back some of the older original castings in the main lines like the um express ss the chevelle with the big motor coming out of it everybody was going nuts over um those those things were hard to find let me tell you i found a few of them and i'm going to be making some red line variants of those uh any day now 
But, um, anyways, yeah, this thing's pretty cool. Pretty cool casting. And I think it originally did come in this color. Like, this probably wouldn't be too far off if you had an original red line one. Other than the bottom, because the bottom would have, like, holes where you could see the spokes and it would say different stuff in the bottom than this one. But yeah, not, not much else would be different, I don't think. I mean, I don't have an original one of these, and I probably never will. But uh, as far as I can tell, this thing's pretty cool for what it is. So, uh, you know what? This is why we take them out of the package, too, because when they're in behind blisters, you can't, like, put them in your city and stuff. And I'm displayed like that. And look at that. He's, he's in the gas station getting gas over there. It's pretty cool. Look at that. Can't do that if it's in the package. But uh, I'll put my Camaro up there. He's on top of the parking garage up there. But, yeah, there we go. Um, and now oh, I got another one. And the other thing that's kind of neat about these is they come in these plastic things. I don't, I, I imagine they come with this when you buy them from Mattel because every single one I've bought has come with this plastic casing. So I imagine all of them come with it because uh, every single car I've got here that I'm going to show you has this plastic casing. So next, I guess we'll go to the other Neo Classic, this Camaro, which uh, this is the one I was talking about. The guy I bought it from had a red variant of it, and it's like $100, and I, I'd like to have it, but I, I'm not dropping $100 on that car. I already dropped quite a lot on this one, honestly, but uh, it's worth it because it's very detailed. It looks like an original red line, and if you look at the prices original red lines sell for, and then these look very close to what an original red line is. That's why I buy these because they look like red lines, even though they're not red lines. Well, they are red lines, but you get what I mean. Like, they're not like the original 60, 60s ones. They, they look like it. They're close enough. But honestly, some of them look cooler, I think. But, uh, yeah, um, let's get this guy out. And I know you can buy red line tires on eBay. I just don't really know how to use them on a car. And I've watched videos and stuff, and I'm just confused on what I would do if I use them. So like, I really do want to get some original red line tires. Cause I'd love to make Chevelles. Chevelles are some of my favorite cars, some square bodies with red lines, you know, just a lot of really cool cars that would have original red line tires. I think it'd be really sweet to do. All right, let me pause this guy. I got to get this guy out. Oh yeah. Look at this baby. Oh yeah. That's nice. I like that. Look at that. That is nice. That is just nice color, nice detail, all that. That is just, oh, that's beautiful. Look at that. I don't even think I can get the, I don't want to really force it because I'm like, nah, I'm not going to. I'm sorry, guys, if it don't want to open. It's not even painted. It's just blue. <laughs> not even really worth opening. There, there we go. But, uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. That is a cool one. The red one is basically just the same thing <clears throat> as this one. It's just red. And, you know, I don't see any reason to pay $100 for it, which my favorite color is blue. So I already have the blue one. So technically, I already got the one I want. But, yeah, we put mine next to this one. Yeah, they look kind of cool together. Yeah, yeah that looks kind of neat. That looks kind of neat. Look at that. My red lines aren't nearly as good as, like, the real ones, but, you know, I tried, and, you know, it's cool. I just am so annoyed how red that one is. I don't know why that's so red. I'm going to try to fade that. I don't know why that is so red from the rest of them. I want it to be darker like the other ones because that's how the original ones are. They're kind of darker. But, yeah, that's pretty cool. I don't know, maybe someday if I ever figure out how, uh, I'll get some of like the original Redline tires on eBay. I won't get the RLC ones, because then you have to pay for a membership and stuff, and it'll just end up costing more. It's cheaper just to buy them from somebody on eBay <clears throat> than get the RLC membership and buy them. I don't know, it might not be. I might check into it. Maybe it won't be. Maybe it'd be cheaper to get them on the RLC website, and then I could get some of the RLC cars sometimes, but I probably honestly never will. <laughs> I, the new ones don't really interest me all that much. I like the Neo Classics more and some of the mail-in cars better than I do some of the RLC stuff. But, uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. I like this Neo Classic. I do want to collect all of these, and I know that means I do kind of need to get that red one, but I, I just, like I said, guys, I can't bring myself to pay that for it. 
But uh, yeah, that's a really nice car. Let's put it in the gas station over here. Look at that. Oh yeah, you can't see. You can't enjoy them. When they're in the package like you can when they're out of the package. And guys, some of you are gonna probably want to kill me for this. But uh, we are going to race these eventually. These are going to race on the track. They are going to race down the track with other cars. We are going to race these cars. That's going to happen. I don't know when it's going to happen, but it is going to happen. And I believe I've showed you guys this one before. This is my first one. My wife got me for my birthday one year. This is my heavy Chevy, and I love that one to death. And then I'm sure you guys keep seeing this in the background, and I thought I'd just bring these out because, uh, you know, I'm already got my Redline style cars out, and, you know, I thought I'd show them to you guys again in case you've never seen them. But uh, this is this is actually a pretty cheap set to get on eBay. Like, if you want these cars, this is a very reasonably priced set. I, I believe I got this for, like, $30 when I got it. So that's not bad if you think about because if you think about it, some premium cars, like if you collect premium Hot Wheels, premium Hot Wheels are already like almost 10 bucks. So, you know, these cars are definitely worth like the money that you pay for them. I might actually one day buy a couple more of these just to customize some of the cars that are in them because I'd love to have that one right there in a different blue or green. And I'd love to have that one in blue. I'd love to have that one in like green and I'd love to have that one in black like specter flame black i know i don't have specter flame colors but i do have a few like things but i know people probably won't be happy with me customizing these but i, I mean it, it would be a good way to get wheels too because i think the wheels are like almost that price for just the wheels so maybe i should just buy a bunch of these to get the wheels <laughs> i don't know <laughs> but um anyways oh uh, yeah these are my um these are like some anniversary set i think they were like for the yeah 30th anniversary so there's a lot of these on the internet like i've literally seen people have stockpiled these the guy i bought this from actually had i think like 40 of them at the time i bought this i should get another one anyway look at that my camaro's headlights messed up or there's something on it i don't know but uh yeah these are pretty cool i like these that was my first like red taste of like what a red line actually looks like and i was like oh man these are cool i need them but uh this is my first one of these and i definitely am going to be buying a few more of these because uh there's definitely some i have my eye on right now on the internet and i'll probably be getting those next month and we'll be uh probably the two of them i'll get next month are probably going to be real rider cars um or i might just get one i don't know it depends on uh, how this month goes with buying cars but um anyways uh, i have another one of these i have my eye on um and there's quite a bit of them on the internet, but uh, I won't spoil it, but I'm probably going to get it, and it is going to be here, and we'll have to take this guy out again and put them together. But uh, yeah, this thing is probably my most favorite Camaro in my whole collection now, um, just because of the tires and the color and just everything about this car is just gorgeous. So uh, let's get this baby out of the package too. Oh, man. This is just a beautiful car. Like, if this is what premiums looked like when they sold the uh, premium cars for, like, 7 to 10 bucks, I'd buy way more of them. Like, just, dude, look at this thing. This thing is beautiful. Look at this, baby. Oh, this is such a beautiful Camaro. I am so happy I have this. Uh, the hood does open. And that's not typical for this casting, either. Like, I, I don't know, maybe it is for, like, the older ones. I don't really have an older variant of this guy. I actually don't have a lot of this Camaro casting of this year. I don't have a lot of this one. I have, like, maybe uh, five different ones, and that's including one double I have. If you're talking about the convertible ones, then, oh, boy, I have a lot of convertible ones, but not the hard top ones. But, uh, yeah, this thing is absolutely gorgeous. Specter Flame. It's got the headlights painted on it, the SS painted on it. Just look at this beautiful vehicle. This thing is just beautiful. Like I you guys, you might some of you might be mad at me for taking this thing out of the package, but you just cannot enjoy this beautiful vehicle behind the bubble, man. This thing is so beautiful. It needs to be free. It needs to be out on the streets of my city. Look at this thing. Look at it when it rolls. Look at them tires. 
Look at that. That is just a beautiful car. That is so beautiful. I love this car so much. And let's put that guy on the street. We got Chevy's taking over the gas station here. But uh, yeah, uh, my table is horrible. I'm actually just using a box from an RC car I bought. Like, I got, like, this plastic cage with it, and I'm using it as a table. I need to get, like, one of those little kid tables to put here. It'd be better than this because it wouldn't be so wiggly. I'll probably do that one of these days. But uh, right now, i got to work on getting storage for my cars. But, yeah, that is, uh, that is a beautiful car, and it definitely deserves to be out of the package. It's just such a beautiful vehicle. Just all these cars are so beautiful, and I'm glad they're in my collection, and I can enjoy them and uh play with them and stuff and just i just gotta do a wheelie <laughs> that's so awesome i love these like i know guys i i i frown upon paying a lot of money for uh hot wheels like certain cars like especially the newer cars like i really frown upon paying a lot of money for newer stuff like do not do that do not pay a lot of money for the newer stuff do not do it just do not do it Oh, I didn't even realize that, guys. Look, it has moon eyes on it. I didn't realize that. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I, You know, guys, pretty soon I'm working on getting a decal machine, too, so I can start putting decals like this on some of my customs and stuff. You know, I'm working on doing that. Um, But, uh, but yeah, these are just beautiful cars. And uh, I, I paid a three-digit price for the three of these. I'll just tell you guys that. I, I paid quite a bit for them i won't tell you how much but i i paid a lot because i don't like it when people like say like when they buy expensive cars like oh i paid this much for them or whatever i i hate that because it's like it's like you're kind of bragging about how much money you got and, you know i don't ever like that because i'm gonna be honest with you guys um i think i've said this before but my wife uh, she's she works and i stay home and my wife is actually the one that helps me with all my funds for my cars. And uh, I'm hoping maybe one day um, one of my channels can take off and, uh, you know, maybe I can start doing something on my own. And, you know, maybe one day this channel will get to the point where I can start getting fan mail and stuff. And you guys could send me some cars. <laughs> probably not. But anyways, uh, pretty cool. I uh, absolutely love these three. These are beautiful, beautiful cars, and I'm so, so grateful they're in my collection. My wife is so awesome for uh, buying these for me. But, oh, uh, yeah, these things are just absolutely gorgeous cars. Just look at them. They are so beautiful. The Cadillac's, like, my least favorite one in my whole collection because it's just kind of plain looking and bland. But uh, it's it's still a cool one. But uh, definitely my Camaros. I love all my, my special Camaros, just all of them. Most of what I have in the special ones is Camaros because uh, I only have this right here in the special ones right now. And I'm working on getting more. This isn't a special one. This just goes in my normal collection. These ones get hung up on the wall because they have, like, these packages and stuff. And I feel like, you know, they, they should go back in there and be hung on the wall. But, uh, and they shouldn't be thrown in the bags and be thrown in the collection. So that guy is though, that guy will be, and don't worry, he'll be fine. Cause my, uh, Bonneville and my other ones I mentioned, they're absolutely fine. My Bonneville has been in my collection for about two years and there's absolutely nothing wrong with it. It's a beautiful car. It's purple. And I love that car, but, um, yeah, guys, uh, that will be this video. I'm sorry. It took me so long to get it out. Like I said, my wife was sick and I was trying to take care of her and stuff, um, but anyways, uh, guys, thank you so much for watching this, and uh, I'll see you guys later, and I'll give you one last good look at these cars. Camaro. Camaro. Cadillac. And that Camaro. And then we'll end the frame on that, because that's the most beautiful one, in my opinion.